Today is the day we complete the monumental task of comparing every character's sidesteps using data. The reason it's so complicated is because it's not just about the distance traveled. Sidesteps have several factors which determine how effective they are at evading attacks. Some sidesteps accelerate quickly, some go at a constant speed, some travel further or shorter, and all of this has to be relative to the character's hitbox to determine actual effectiveness. So I've come up with a method to hopefully account for all of these factors. Firstly, we will do a visual comparison to give us a guideline on how far each character travels visually. We'll then have each character undergo a series of tests of whether or not they can successfully evade certain situations with a sidestep. With enough data, hopefully, we'll be able to sort each character into their true ranking. So first up is the visual comparison. Although an overhead visual isn't really enough to determine whose sidestep is better at evading, we can get a rough idea of how far each character travels, roughly what their acceleration looks like, their sidestep animation, and how their idle animations and character hitboxes may affect their evasion. I overlaid each character's animation on top of each other to get the best visual comparison possible, but particularly in the mid-range of characters, the distances looked really similar, so we'll have to iron these initial rankings out with the quantitative testing. I'll show you a few overlaid animations too, to give you a better idea of the comparison between the shorter and further sidesteps. Something I noticed during this visual test is that most characters square their shoulders towards Kazuya during their sidestep animation. Elisa and Lily in particular seem to keep the sideways form of their idle pose during their sidestep, which makes their hitbox far slimmer during the sidestep. We'll see if this reflects in the tests as well. Some characters' idle animations also look like they may affect their evasion, take Eddie for example. I'm curious as to if he'll lose distance after the sidestep animation ends. Here's a few overlaid comparisons as well. It's interesting to see the acceleration in slow motion as it's far clearer here. And now, onto the quantitative testing. Given the tens of thousands of possible situations in Tekken, and that I am just one person, I used sampling in order to efficiently gather data. Sampling is just taking a smaller subset of data and extrapolating it to allow us to draw meaningful conclusions without having to test every situation individually. In total, I tested 40 situations, which may not seem like much, but across 33 characters, that's 1,320 individual interactions tested. Importantly, when selecting the test situations, I tried to find the most divisive tests possible, where there was a significant split in characters who could and couldn't evade in that instance. Testing for situations where everybody can evade or nobody can evade gives us no comparative information to work off. So, it's about to get really nerdy, but bear with me while I explain the data collection process, as it'll help when I summarize and point out some interesting findings afterwards. The first section of information contains all of the tests. The character on the left is who we're trying to sidestep. Then we have what direction we're stepping, the sequence we're stepping, the frame state before trying to sidestep, including the impact frame from when the sidestep starts, as well as the hit property. I know it's a lot of information, but simply put, this highlighted test would be seeing if you can sidestep right Brian's forward three after he jabs. If you evade, you pass. If you get hit, you fail. Simple as that. To the right, we have each character's test results. If they pass the test, they get a tick. Now just looking at the 40 situations I tested, we have a rough ranking of who has the best sidestep. Unsurprisingly, Lily is in first place by quite a gap. Lily could sidestep things no other character could step. Jack and the bears were down the bottom, strangely enough with Yoshimitsu. I guess he can spin instead of sidestep, but I definitely didn't expect that one. If we look deeper into the tests, we can see some pretty random results. For example, the only two people who could step left Reina's hop kick after jab are Elisa and Jack. I wanted to look into this outlier to see if we could learn something about Jack's sidestep. My initial theory was that although his sidestep is weak, maybe by frame 16, he actually travels a lot of distance. But when comparing it to Lily, it felt like it wasn't really the case. Lily seemed to travel just as far, if not further. 
but would get clipped by a ghost hitbox. This made me question why Jack wasn't getting clipped the same way. My current theory is that Reyna's forward movement before the hopkick hitbox comes out pushes Jack's fat hitbox out of the way, aiding in his sidestep. Another strange thing I discovered is that Elisa can't sidestep Reyna's Heaven's Wrath 2 in either direction after Hellsweep. Elisa had the second highest score, and if we pause here, she definitely was out of the way. Right? So again, pretty weird, but my current theory is because her left leg has been left behind, there's a disjointed low hitbox that's getting clipped. It makes slightly more sense from this angle. Elisa does make up for her lagging leg, with her speedy head. This test in particular, which over 70% of characters failed, Elisa was able to pass. Victor was also a peculiar case, failing tests even the bears passed. While at the same time, passing tests 90% of the cast failed. Although there isn't that much data to support this, it seemed like Victor struggled more at the beginning of his sidestep animation, then had a bit of a better time at the end of his step, indicating slow acceleration. His unique posture may be a factor too. The last outlier I'll touch on is Lars, who like Victor struggled with easy tests, and succeeded in a few hard tests. This could be because of his lazy leg syndrome, but character hitboxes are being pushed around more than I first thought. Hear me out. After this sequence, not only do they become misaligned, but we can clearly see them both ice skating a little, even after the move comes out. So if forward movement can interact with bigger hitboxes, resulting in a warped, larger sidestep, does this reflect in the data? Well, it's up to interpretation, but kinda. Despite females having on average over 10% better test results than males, some tests were dominated by males. When trying to sidestep Reyna's Heaven's Wrath 2 to the left, which is the wrong direction, 60% of males passed, compared to only 20% of females. It could be the case that this move is supposed to track left, but due to males' larger hitboxes, they kinda just get pushed out of the way. We can compare Jack's position to if Reyna only does Hell Sweep to see the difference in sidestep distance and angle. I think we've gotten a few cool insights into how sidesteps function, as well as their strange inconsistencies. I do wish I had a larger sample size. However, for now, the last thing for us to do is put everyone in a tier list. Thanks for staying till the end. Join our Discord for early info or just to hang out. We'd love to have you there. If you learned something, like and subscribe to support the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.